So here I am, back at it again. Uh, I'm going to be ripping a little Optic Fast Break 2018-19 chasing Luka Doncic today. It's a crazy thing I didn't realize this morning when I got out of bed. It's the leap a leap year, uh, wife told me. <laughs> didn't realize today was February 29th, so very cool. Um, <clears throat> really appreciate anyone who tuned in for my first video. Like I had said in the first video, I know these uh, first few videos are going to be a little shaky and stuff, but uh, just getting used to how this stuff works out. I think this will be a really kind of fun endeavor for me and a couple of my kids and just uh, see how this all works out. So I'm going to jump right into it. I got Optic 2019 or 1819. This is Luca's year. Obviously, you got your, your big money, big money items in here. I mean, anything color Luca related. Obviously, Luca autos are pretty popular, but his base cards are doing pretty well. Um, I remember before the Luca boom, I sold 14 Prism base cards for $10 a piece. So I'd say I missed the market on those. But uh, yeah, we'll jump right in. Optics, uh, it's an attainable product still. It's uh, a little expensive, but obviously anybody with that much upside, you got to think of what their rookie cards are going to do. So we'll dive right in. You guarantee one autograph per box. <clears throat> Odds don't really exist for much of anything other than that in here. But yeah, we'll dive right in. So I appreciate it. It's... Uh, first night after I filmed my first video and I've got a couple hockey ones waiting in the wings that I'm going to throw up that I've already filmed um, but I got about 70 views so it's kind of exciting I mean I know that that's not huge but you know for somebody who's new um, it's pretty exciting so we got the Mamba on the cover uh, so before, before Kobe's passing unfortunately um, so yeah I'll dive right in I'll get going I got sleeves and loaders next to me for any big hits and and I'll do kind of a quick recap at the end. So I think you get, there are 18 packs in here, five cards per pack. Yeah, so I'm going to post my address below. <clears throat> you know, one thing I would love to be able to do is fan mail. Don't want any handouts, don't need anything for free. Would love to review subscription boxes if, if that's stuff you do. Um, or if your kid's collecting and want to, you know, send something along with a little note, you know, saying they watch the channel and, you know, this is who they collect. I can put them together a little package and send them back out some stuff. So... I'm sure my wife would love to have me empty the basement out a little bit. So, all right, we'll dive right in. I'll just move these off to the side. So we got Optic 2018-19. <clears throat> this is Fast Break. It's got Fast Break Parallel right out of the gate. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice if it's a rookie. Uh, it is a rookie, actually, which is pretty cool. I think I saw the name, but <clears throat> yeah, Denzel Valentine, Dion Waiters, and the first one is going to be actually a pretty good one here. Shaw Gilgis Alexander. This kid has a ton of upside, uh, and he's been playing really well, actually, for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, yeah, I think he's averaging close to 17, 18 points a game. I'd have to look it up, but yeah, yeah, I'm not totally sure what these do. It's a nice grade. Uh, these weren't the most well-cut cards, again, just like this year. Um, seems like Panini's quality control is slacking a little bit in terms of putting out some off-center stuff, but yeah, good first pack. Uh, Shaw Gilgis Alexander Disco Prism, so... We will uh, put that off to the side in a holder. Then we got Damari Carroll and Mikhail Bridges. So, another rookie. Let's see if we can try to set this up. I'll put that there. <clears throat> so, like I said, you're guaranteed one. Oh, it looks like actually that might be the autograph right there. So, I'm just going to set that off to the side. and We'll wait to the end to rip that. But, uh, looks like it could have been a rated rookie. I saw a color, but I wasn't totally sure what it was. So, we got a, uh, <clears throat> looks like a little orange. Uh, that might be an insert. I'm not totally sure. So we got Nicholas Bat Batum, Chris Middleton, and this is a. I'm reading the names. Oh, it's Clay Thompson. Okay, yeah, Clay Thompson. This is uh, All Stars insert, but it's the Fast Break Prism. So very cool. You know, nice look. They were really kind of a nice card. Um, very, still very desirable. So Clay Thompson. I know we'll obviously Golden State misses Clay Thompson, but I'm sure he'll be back not too long. Thaddeus Young, and there is. Giannis's brother Costas. Um, I think Costas is with the Lakers now, if I'm correct. I don't think he's getting a ton of minutes, but uh, still pretty cool to have your family be that well represented in the league. So I think he's got a younger brother, Stan, too. And people can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but you got another disco prism. You got Draymond. You got Dario Saric. And there is a Clint Capella disco. So yeah, obviously, very, like I said, very cool look. Um, the back is pretty basic. These aren't numbered. I'm not sure if you get one in every pack. I don't think so. And then we have a uh, another solid rookie. This is Marvin Bagley Jr. So 
I really think Marvin Bagley is going to have an awesome career. I think he's just one of those players that <clears throat> didn't get off, didn't get out to the, the greatest of starts, but Sacramento's not a great team, so um, I think he's going to do really well going forward. Uh, looks like we got another insert. And Anthony Davis. Goran Dragic. <clears throat> oh, there's Kobe right there. It's all heart, which is very true. The man was all heart. So very cool insert of Kobe. Uh, Pau Gasol and Colin Sexton. So... Of the rookies you could pull, I mean, we've pulled some solid rookies out of here. I don't think the base of these do much, but the nice thing is these are the chrome. So, same look as Donruss, but they're the chrome. Um, yeah. Very cool. Oh, looks like we got a little blue. Blue's a, blue's a cool color. I'm not sure if it's a rook. Uh, doesn't look like it. But we got Drew Holiday. Mr. Ex-Celtic himself, Rajon Rondo. And <laughs> Alfred Payton, who I think we pulled yesterday. Um... Like I said, thank God the man cut his hair. But that is going to be 18 of 50. So that's pretty good out of 50. Alfred Payton. <clears throat> so blue parallel. Miles Turner. And a Chemezi Metu. I don't know what happened to Chemezi Metu. I think he's obviously kicking around somewhere. But he might be bouncing around in the G League. Unless I just don't pay enough attention to the Spurs. And he's getting a few minutes here and there. But uh, another fast break prism in this one. We got Zach Collins. It's not a rookie. Laurie Markkinen. Pat Bev. Patrick Beverly. Um, yeah, not bad. Danny Green and Miles Bridges. Again, Miles Bridges is another one I think has massive potential and massive upside. Uh, again, isn't scoring the most right now, but again, he's very young, and I think he's uh, going to do extremely well in the NBA. So there's, there's my favorite player in the NBA right there, Mr. Jason Tatum. I uh, can't wait. They play today at 8.30, I think. Um, let's hope he'll drop another 30 points. It looks great. So, But again, if you look, you'll notice the cut isn't very strong on this. You know, you probably got about a... Let's close the back of that. But I mean, it's just kind of funny that they would let those go out on quality control like that. I, and I know you can't cut every one of them perfect because they come off a sheet. But I mean, not that a Jason Tatum base is something that you would send a grade, but that would have no grade potential. That would pretty much take you down to about an 8 right out of the gate. So... Serge Ibaka and Wesley Matthews. So we're not hitting the, the greatest of guys with our uh, Disco Prisms, but uh, I think we did. We got the Shaw Gilgis, which is very cool. We got Bojan Bogdanovich and Mr. DiVincenzo, which looks like it's got a pretty nice roller line on the front. Um, but another one, very good, very good player on Milwaukee. Uh, kick and shoot lights out. But again, you're on a, the best team in the NBA, so great position for him to be in. All right, we'll keep ripping here. Look for some more color. Or let's hit that big Luca monster. So here's an orange, and it's not going to be a rookie, but we got Spider Mitchell, Mr. Donovan Mitchell, Evan Turner, and Mike Conley. Mike Conley, who has been a a journeyman of sorts in the NBA. He's bounced around quite a bit from multiple teams. I'm not totally sure what these are number two. Looks like these are going to be number two. 71 of 85. So, yeah. Not bad. Spencer Dinwiddie, and oh, I thought it was blue, but Mr. Dunk Contest Champion himself, Hamadou Diallo. <clears throat> Haven't heard much from Hamadou, but uh, again, on a not very good uh, Oklahoma City Thunder team, so. Uh, what do we have here? Looks like we have Mr. Robin Lopez, Mr. Celtic Destroy himself, Stevie, Stevie Handles Nash. <laughs> it's the retro series. Uh, Nerland's Noel, another sad story, and uh, Kevin Huter. Kevin Huter is another one who's, you know, a pretty serviceable big man in the uh, can also shoot really well for Atlanta. So I think he's going to have a pretty solid NBA career. He's done pretty well so far. But um, yeah, drop any comments below. Let me know what you guys think. You know, this is this is just fun stuff, man. I, I love doing this. So I'd love to kind of start up a uh, sort of network where you know I'm able to to do some subscription rips. Uh, for companies, you know, I'm going to look around online. I know a lot of people do the boombox. A lot of people do Loot Locker. Um, like I did yesterday, I did all about the hobby, which I truly believe is probably the best bang for your buck. Um, pretty inexpensive. Doesn't make a ton of boxes monthly, but enough where it's, it's pretty worthwhile if you can get there and get them. So Paul Millsap, Tony Parker. There's the rookies. This is the rookies insert of Marvin Bagley. Uh, this is a neat one. This is the non-disco, but... Um, I think the Lucas of that disco version do pretty well. Um, you know, just a neat looking insert. So, Lamarcus Aldridge, and there is Josh Kogi. 
right, Josh Okogie is the next rookie. I'm not close to leaving him, but Celtics did just play the Timberwolves, so I did get to see him play. Pretty solid. He's a big dude. He can rattle the rim pretty good. So there's another orange. And that might be a rookie. I can't quite tell. But we have Lou Williams. <clears throat> Excellent sixth man. Buddy Heald. Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn, I think, came out of Providence. Went down and saw a few of their games. Uh, fun one to watch. So 15 of 85. Yeah, he went to Providence. Um, again, really good. Really good player. Not a huge name, but really solid uh, player. We got Blue. So is it Luca? No. It is Mitchell Robinson. But another good rookie. Mitchell Robinson is a really solid player for the Knicks. I really like watching him play. He can get up and get it and pull down the rebounds and slam quite a few home. So, yeah, I'm not doing bad with the rookies. I'm not hitting too many prism. Oh, we got a purple here. Uh, we got Dennis Schroeder. We got Brandon Ingram. And truth be told, thank goodness he landed somewhere other than L.A. and went to the Pelicans because, man, he's having kind of a resurgence in his career, which is pretty cool to see because he's a great player. Uh, and then we have a Tobias Harris. Here, Tobias Harris is no longer a Clipper. He is a 76er. He was traded midseason uh, a couple of years last year, maybe. And those are 75 and 95. So all under 100 in terms of parallels that we've pulled, which is pretty cool, but... Nothing spectacular. We got Oladipo, and then my main man, the Time Lord, who can't seem to stay healthy. But a uh, ton, a ton of potential with this kid. Just, you know, he's, he's missing out on his chances because he's sitting on the bench. But <clears throat> looks like we got about five packs left, and then I got my auto sitting over to the right of me. So uh, we got another fast break prism in here. We got a jumping off of Mr. Durant, Mr. JJ Redick, TJ Warren, fast break. Blake Griffin, and there's another one. Man, he is he's a phenomenal player, and I pulled some of his stuff fast break out of Prism. Uh, I pulled a fast break pink to 50 out of Prism at Avante Graham that just got shelved in a box, but he is having a, again, um, a sophomore coming out party, and uh, I actually went off the PSA, so see how that does in terms of grade-wise. But uh, John Collins, Mr. Gobert, I, he's extremely underrated and not talked about enough. We've got the glove, Gary Payton. Got Tyreek Evans and Vincent Edwards, who I pulled a prism to five of Vincent Edwards, uh, one of the green parallels out of fast break, and I think he is a uh, like I said, he is a G League All Star. I don't know if he was even drafted, so this feels a little thicker. It's it is a uh, fast break rookie. We've got Malik Monk, <clears throat> got Mr. Anthony Kumpo. It is a bluish color. It is going to be, why can I not tell, Jaron Jackson Jr. That's a nice one, man. I like that. <clears throat> Jaron Jackson is extremely, extremely good. So for the two rookies, it looks like we're going to get out of here. We did pretty well in terms of the fast breaks. We got Shaw Gilgis and Jaron Jackson Jr., who are two players that are playing really well above average in the NBA and I think are destined for a pretty solid NBA career. So Jaron Jackson Jr. disco. Very cool. We got Stanley Johnson and another really underrated player that kind of was super overshadowed, obviously, by Luca. But Jalen Brunson, <clears throat> good point guard for Dallas. And two packs to go and an autograph. Looks like we've got another silver, Jonas Valanciunas, Dame Lillard. <laughs> Mr. Shoots all the time with a beard, but that's cool because that's one of the inserts. It's uh, the disco parallel. You can see it's swishful thinking. Let's get that thing on camera. James Harden. And neat little insert, not numbered, obviously, but uh, man, does he shoot. Granted, he makes it most of the time, but he shoots a lot. So Russell Westbrook and another one, Chandler Hutchinson, who, when you see his stuff pop up on Panini's reward site, <clears throat> in the in the points rewards, <laughs> you know he hasn't really made it. So it's the last pack before our auto, and then we will jump into the auto. It looks like we've got a King James, Chris Paul, a Draymond? Oh, who is that? Oh, it's Kemba. It's hard to see sometimes. So, Kemba All-Star, who was an All-Star again this year. Josh Jackson, who, man, they had high hopes for this kid, and he just kind of disappeared. Um, I can't even think of who he's on right now. He ended up on a different organization, but I have to look into it. And Gary Trent Jr., who, when I watched the Trailblazers the other night, another one who looks like he's going to be decent or have a decent career. So, that was all the main packs and a bunch of base cards. We'll go in a flat rate box. If your kids want them, let me know. <clears throat> can absolutely have them. We got the rookies, and then we have Shaw Gilges and Jaron Jackson. So two solid. So now we got the autograph. And we'll pull from the back, it looks like. So we'll pull the rook off the back, who's Javon Carter. 
don't remember where he landed, but he is no longer with them. Kawhi Leonard, Ben Simmons, and it looks like it's going to be oriented this way. It actually looks like there might be, no, there's, there's a minute bowl back behind it. So it is going to be a bluish hue. It looks like it's going to be Charlotte. I'd like a Devontae Graham or a Miles Bridges. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So that's a nice one, man. Devontae Graham. That's exciting. That's definitely not quite your box value, but there are many rookies that you would rather not have than Devontae Graham. I think he's averaging about 18 points a game, so it's an exciting hit. I like, I like a little color on it, but it comes in. That's not numbered, but Devontae Graham Auto. And that's the Disco Parallel. Very cool. And I think the last card in here was a Minute Bowl uh, retro series. Um, I hope his son Bowl Bowl does pretty well. But yeah, super fun rip. Uh, moderately inexpensive in terms of you know value, what you can get. You're not going to pay for Prism because Prism is crazy expensive. But we got some color. We got Tobias Harris purple, Chris Dunn orange, Mike Connolly orange, Alfred Payton. And then we got a Mamba insert. Again, thank you guys so much for checking this out. I really hope this kind of gets going gonna be buying some new stuff looks like i'm gonna do some sp authentic game used hockey or it might just be sp game used hockey got a couple boxes of that coming in i have two boxes of series one retail coming in hockey so if you've got any stuff you want to see broken um let me know i'd love to, to go after a couple boxes of it and try to rip it and see what we can come up with so you know i guess if i was to show my best hit in my young ripping career it'd have to be this devon graham autograph looks like it's all on card so Maybe we'll check that out the PSA and see if we can pull down a 10. So very cool. Appreciate everyone. Enjoy your leap year, February 29th, and have a great day. Take care.